thinking it's Monday. There's a giant building opposite that is, ooh, that is just reflecting orange light and it's making me look a lot more orange. I'm not that orange. The last three days in this flat, so it's gonna be a busy one, I think, with lots of like last minute editing to do. I've got lots of kind of moving and packing and like bits and pieces going on. And then I've also booked myself in for a breathwork class, which I talk about quite a lot. I do like breathwork and Reiki stuff. So I've got a breathwork class on Wednesday evening because I thought it would be the perfect timing to do that relax and like really just feel chilled before moving day and like before the chaos of moving weekend so it's gonna be a busy couple of days this morning james and i are actually off to the storage unit so we've absolutely crammed both of our cars with stuff most of it is for the kitchen and we're going to try and take it down put it in the storage unit and then it means that over the next few days i can slowly be taking stuff down so when it comes to moving day there's as little as possible in the actual flat to move because i'm really stressing about how much furniture i have and whether it's going to fit in a van it should do because when i've looked online and when i've quoted companies they've all said like a luton van should be big enough and that's what we've got so fingers crossed it's all fine but i don't know this is the current situation it's looking very very that i'm gonna stop waffling because james is waiting for me to hurry up so we can go to the storage <laughs> see you in a minute Guys, it's hitting me that I am moving an hour away. Like, I don't know how I feel about this situation. I'm so excited to move back and I'm so excited that I'm moving back closer to my friends and my boyfriend and an area that I know like really, really well because obviously I grew up there. Or like, I didn't grow up living in the specific place I'm moving, but I grew up a couple of towns along and basically it's like where my school was and stuff. So I grew up there and was always there. But it's so weird like leaving London is just a strange feeling and I can't explain it because it's so unless you've lived in London and loved living in London I don't think you can ever explain the feeling of like moving back out of London I've spent four years of my life there and I've lived in so many different like parts of London so I first lived in Canary Wharf then I moved to Greenwich then I lived in Balham and now obviously I live in the northwest and I just it's so strange like obviously every year in London I've been in a different area and it's been a different place to get used to and stuff but it's so weird I think what I'm struggling with the most is that it's it's like getting used to the lack of convenience again so obviously going from living in like a smaller town and stuff and then moving into London you suddenly have everything on your doorstep and obviously moving back out I'm not going to have my gym like a two minute walk up the road. I'm not going to have Sainsbury's and like co-op and all these places like Lidl next door and the station right up the road. Like everything is going to be a driving distance. And that's not something I'm particularly used to anymore because most of the things that I do are walkable. Or like if I'm going to go into central London, it's like a 15 minute train into central. So it is going to be a big adjusting period. And I think I'm just kind of like, ah, it's actually hitting me now. And I'm really scared. But I'm glad that it's hitting me at a point where everything is already packed. I've got no stress. It's literally just the actual move. And I mean, I've roped in all of my friends. Well, I say all of my friends. I've roped in some of my friends. So I've got two friends coming to help with one of their boyfriends, my brother, my mum, and obviously James. So I've got quite a good little team because obviously I can't really lift the heavy things. And I don't think me and James would be able to lift it together because like there's over a foot in I think there's like a foot and two inches between us or something ridiculous. He's six foot six, like nearly six foot seven. I am five foot four. So trying to lift sofas and stuff is going to hurt his back and probably hurt mine because there's such a difference in height. And I just honestly, I, I mean, I can't lift to save my life. So I think that would be quite a fundamental issue also because <laughs> he would be carrying most of the weight, but he'd be lifting it so high and end up falling anyway. I don't know it's just hitting me and i think with my car full of stuff and like the realization that in three days time i'll be in my new flat for the first time and it's just surreal like it feels like the strangest i, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it because i've had this flat for like the one i've lived in i've lived in for a year but i've known that i'm moving into the new one for about two months so it's a very strange feeling because obviously like i know i'm moving but i'm just not in yet so it's a very strange feeling 
but I've got about 25 minutes till I hit the storage unit and then I'll update you with that situation and show you what's happening in there because it is very full at the moment. It's still got all the Christmas decorations and like camping bits and stuff in there but it's been slowly filling up with like clothes and random like boxes that need to be taken just so that it's less to do on actual moving day which I think I'll thank myself for like I think I'll thank myself for being really organized anyway I'm gonna carry on driving and I'll catch up with you when I get there Is this not just a sign of the times? <laughs> We filled this to its absolute maximum capacity. Like it's just to the ceiling. We've got a little bit of floor space left. And basically that's what we're gonna be filling with the remaining boxes. And then obviously most of this is coming out into the new house, but yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Okay guys, we've fit it all in and it just about fits, but oh my goodness, most of this is coming out. So basically as far back as you can see, like there's boxes here, there's boxes all here. This is all coming out, but you basically can't fit another thing. Goodbye until Thursday. Good afternoon, guys. It is officially T minus one day until I move house. I get my keys tomorrow. So officially the move starts and that's when all the packing stops and everything just starts being moved. So we're having a little last minute run round, putting everything remaining into like little boxes and stuff, sealing up anything that needs sealing, like food boxes and stuff that I've left open and basically dragging everything into the office so that it's all together. And then when it comes to moving day, we can kind of just cart it all out from one space. Also putting some of the boxes in the living room, in the living room as well, just because then it's not all in one room and we're not all like fighting to get in here. So some of this is going to be coming back out of here in a second and going into the living room. Some of it's going to be staying here, but the majority of this pile was actually furniture. So let me show you. So this is the pile I'm taking tomorrow in the car, which is clothing. Cause like I said, I'm going to try and start putting that all away tomorrow when I measure up and stuff. And then this is the pile of stuff ready to go. So we've got all my frames and mirrors and stuff there. And then it's just like bags, which have got bedding and stuff in for the spare bed boxes. These are just bits of like clothing and stuff and random things basically there's a lot of stuff so <laughs> we're trying to organize it in a better way so that it's easier to get out of the house and just like emptying all the storage cupboards and stuff so remember the last time i showed you this she's now empty there's nothing in there she's finished she's she's done all the wardrobes are empty everything's coming apart it feels really weird because it's just getting i mean it's getting more cluttered to get decluttered so i'll put you on some time lapses and you can watch us do our thing in the last clip we are starting to pull the house apart fully like everything is coming apart today so the bed's coming apart the last of the kitchen stuff's gone together like everything is being done and i've actually had a nap as well because i got to the point where i was so exhausted and i think partially burnt out and just not with the world like i was so out of it that i had a nap and now i feel a bit better had a little bit of chocolate and we're just trying to pull the bed apart which is such a task like the lifty uppy beds are they called ottoman beds they are aren't they they they're great they look fabulous they have the best storage you've ever seen but my goodness they are not something you want to be moving house with like you have to literally take the whole thing apart and rebuild it again like you can't just it's not like four bed slats that go together like my old one was like it's a full-on like mechanism that has to go back together and stuff so James is just currently under the bed, pulling it apart. We've got the Olympics on because he's watched the entirety of the Olympics. <laughs> You've watched a lot. Every time you get the remote, you put the Olympics on. Don't start that. No, no, no. It's the truth. Right, I'm going to put you on a time lapse. In a bit. You liar. You put it on every fight. This is the third time it's been on today. One day. 
have a mattress on the floor and it feels like I'm really moving which is so scary like I've not been anxious and I've not felt like anything towards this move apart from like excited until now and now I'm like oh my goodness I've not felt anything but excitement until now and the last I'd say like two hours I've just been so anxious like just now I'm scared now I'm like oh my god all of these boxes need unpacking, everything needs to go away, I'm going to have to relearn where things are, I'm going to forget everything, like, it's going to take me forever to unpack, what if I don't like the new house, what if my neighbours are noisy, like, all the things that you think when you move, like, I've got so content here that I'm like, no, I don't know, but I'm thinking positively, and I know I'm going to love it, I know the lighting's going to be great in there, like, it's going to be really bright and, like, comfortable and airy, and just, it's going to be beautiful, and I'm going to be really happy there and I'm going to be near my friends and everything's going to be fine. But now I'm sleeping on a mattress on the floor, it does feel a bit more real. I'll be honest. James is currently hoovering, as you can probably hear. We've packed up literally everything now. Um, the only thing that is out is like stuff that I need. And I'm going to quickly repack my case because it's just currently overflowing over there. So I'm going to repack that and pop that in the car with me tomorrow. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to come back here to sleep on Thursday night or if I'm going to go to James's. And if I go to his, because his is like halfway between here and the new place. Um, then it means I've got all my stuff with me and I don't have to worry about that. Um, but we'll see. I don't 100% I don't know yet. But we'll see. I just need to unpack it and repack it. And I'm probably going to take like a tote bag and a suitcase as my things to live in for the next three days. Because I just want to make sure I've got like some leggings and some comfies. Because it's going to be a long old slog. God. I'm so tired as well. Like, I'm absolutely exhausted today. I've got no energy. And I think it's partially being really stressed. Partially, like, just being overwhelmed. And just partially being really, really tired. <laughs> I've had a nap and I never nap. So, I think that says enough. But, oh, we're nearly there. We're so close to being done. So close. I don't even have words to form a sentence. 